Hello, welcome to our online Christingle service. Whether you're watching live, three o'clock, Sunday the 20th of December, or whether you're catching up a little bit later, it's so great that you can join us for this time together. My name's Ben, I'm the vicar here at St Saviour's. There are just two things that you need for our service this afternoon. The first is your Christingle bag. Hopefully you were able to receive one of these um, earlier in the week. It's got everything you'll need for a little bit later on when we make our Christingles. That was the first thing that you'll need. Uh, the second thing you'll need is a grown-up, just to help us make sure that we put together the Christingles safely. Why don't we begin by saying a prayer? Loving God, we thank you for Christmas, for all the fun and excitement we can have even in hard times. We pray now as we meet together and make Christingles that you would help us to remember the first Christmas and what it means for us today. And we ask this for Jesus' sake. Amen. Well, the Christingle was invented around 250 years ago by a German Christian to help people to remember what Christmas is all about. To remember how at Christmas, God's son, Jesus, was born. How the light of the world came down from heaven to live on earth. And our very first song uh, this afternoon is all about that very first Christmas and the incredible things that happened then. Great, well it's almost time to make our Christingles now, but before we do that we need to wash our hands. So perhaps you can go and find a sink, some nice water, a bit of soap and get them all clean. I've got some gel with me here, so I'll just use this and make sure our hands are nice and clean. And once your hands are clean you can grab your Christingle bag and reach into it and find the first part of the Christingle which is The orange. Mine's very nice and smooth, a little bit cold, but here it is, the orange. But what has an orange 
got to do with Christmas? How can it help us to remember what Christmas is all about? Well, I asked some friends of mine from St Swithin's C of E Primary Academy if they could help us out with explaining why the Christingle starts with an orange. So hopefully they'll be able to help us out now. The orange! The orange is not the golden egg. It reminds us that the Bible says God is the creator and king of God. Our Lord and God, you are worthy to receive glory, honour and power. For you created all things, and by your will they were given existence and life. God made the world amazing and beautiful from the tiny water plant and the mountain. He deserves our thanks and our prayer. Wow, thanks guys. I love your Christmas jumpers. And uh, thanks for telling us as well about what the orange represents, how it reminds us of the amazing world that God has made. So, what's the next part of the Christingle? Reach into your bags and see if you can find your cocktail sticks. Now, these are a little bit sharp and pointy, so just be careful because you don't want to get any uh, spikes in your fingers. So, reach down and grab your four cocktail sticks. And then you need to get your little packet of sweets. And you can open up your packet of sweets. And very carefully, I'll zoom in for this bit, you can spike your sweets onto the cocktail sticks. And once you've got your sweets on the cocktail sticks, you can then just insert them in a little bit, like that. And once you're done, as if by magic, it'll look something like this. So you can see you've got the four sticks and lots of sweets on them. But what do they mean? Why well, have we got four cocktail sticks with some yummy sweets? Well, here are the guys from St Swithin's again to help us find out why. The sweets! The, the, the four sticks with sweets remind us of the four seasons and all the good things God gives to us. Every good gift and every perfect present comes from heaven. It comes down from God, the creator of heavenly lights. What good things can you think of what God gives us? Thanks guys. So the cocktail sticks and the sweets remind us of the four seasons, autumn, summer, winter, spring, and all the good things that God gives to us. And it was great, that question at the end, wasn't it? What good things can you think of that God has given to us? I mean, I know it's been a really hard year, hasn't it? Lots of really difficult and challenging things have happened, but there's still lots of stuff that we can be thankful to God for. Like our friends and family, like Christmas and all the presents and food that we can enjoy. Like the world around us with all the amazing colours and creatures. Like the fact that we can be friends with God and follow him. So many things that we can be thankful to God for this Christmas season. In fact, why don't I say a prayer thanking God now? Loving God, we thank you for all the good things that you give to us. Help us to be grateful as we celebrate your love for us this Christmas. In Jesus' name, Amen. Well, the Christingle's starting to take shape now, isn't it? But there are a few more bits that we need to add. And next, we're going to do the candle. So reach into your bag again, and hopefully you will find... The candle. Now you'll see we've put little cocktail sticks on it so all you should need to do again might need some help of the grown-up is just carefully slot them onto the top of the orange so it looks something like that. Let's go back over to St Swithin's and find out what the candle is all about.
light shines in the darkness and the darkness has no more to add. Thanks guys. So the unlit candle reminds us of the darkness that's in the world. But when we light the candles, which we'll do a little bit later on, we can be reminded that Jesus is the light of the world who came to beat darkness forever. But you've probably spotted, haven't you, that there's one more part of the Christingle. The red ribbon or the red tape that goes round and round the orange. Let's find out what that's all about. In the light of the world was born at first mass. He grew up and his light shined with God's light. But on the first and Friday, Jesus died on the cross. The red ribbon is the same colour as God can remind us Jesus died for us. On the cross, he took our darkness so we could be one with God and enjoy his light now and forever. Johnson chapter 3 verse 16. For God loved the world so much that he gave his son so that everyone who believes in him may not die but have eternal life. Wow, isn't Jesus amazing? The light of the world dying for us and he must love us loads and loads we're going to find out a bit more about jesus and how the christingle reminds us about him in a few moments time but before that why don't we join in saying the prayer that jesus taught us to pray the lord's prayer there are going to be some actions for this you're really welcome to join in if you'd like to so let's pray our father in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Well, we'll hear a bit more about the Christingle and what it shows us about Christmas and what that means for us today in a few moments. But before then, we're going to have a little game. St Swithins are going to help us with this. Some of their bell plate players have recorded for us some Christmas tunes. Why don't we see if we can guess what they are?
Or did you get them all right? Well, a huge thank you to St Swithin's, all the children and all the staff and teachers who've helped us with our Christingle service today. You've done a fantastic job and I know you've been working really hard. So thank you so much. You've done a brilliant job. Now we're going to hear a little bit more from the Bible. And then Ben, one of the other ministers at St Saviour's, is going to share a bit more about the Christingle. Hi everybody, my name's Jackie and I'm a member of St Saviour's Church and today we're going to be reading from a book in the Bible called John, beginning at the first chapter. In the beginning, the Word already existed. The Word was with God and the Word was God. From the very beginning, the Word was with God. Through him, God made all things. Not one thing in all creation was made without him. The word was the source of life, and this life brought light to humanity. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has never put it out. Hi everyone, Uh, my name is Ben and I'm the curate at St Saviour's Retford, which is a little bit like uh, being a vicar, but with L plates on. Thanks uh, for joining us um, for our online Christingle. It's great to have you with us, and it's great to be together. I'm going to talk for a few minutes um, about our Christ Ingalls. Um, but before I do that, I want to ask you a question. I wonder what is the brightest thing you can find in your house? No, not your mum. Obviously, she's very clever. Um, but something that is bright that can give you light. So go and have a look round about now and I'll give you a moment or two to do that. So I wonder what you found. Um, here are some things that I uh, I found. Here's a little lantern that uh, gives me a certain amount of light. Uh, I found a, a tiny little torch as well. The light on that isn't so good. Got some glow sticks here. They're lighting up a little bit, but will probably take a little while to get going. And I've also got a candle here, um, which is similar to what we've got on our Christingle. Need to be careful with that as well, don't we? Maybe you couldn't uh, bring the brightest thing that you've got in your house because it's actually attached to your your house uh, like this. Our Christingles remind us that Jesus is the light of the world. But what do we mean by that? Our Bible reading tells us something amazing. It tells us that Jesus made the world. And that is what we think about um, with the orange in our Christingle. Jesus made the world. And isn't that amazing? This tiny child that we meet at Christmas time in a manger is actually the very person who made the stars and the galaxies and you and me. Isn't that incredible? And what's more, he didn't just sort of quickly throw something together, kind of like I do when I'm making a Chris Dingle, if I'm honest with you. Jesus 
made a really, really, really good world. You only have to look out of the window uh, when the sun is going down at the moment to see what an amazing world Jesus has made. And that's what the sweets are all about, which, let's be honest, are everyone's favourite bit of the Chris Dingle. It means that Jesus made an incredible world, a world that is really, really, really good. But, and it's a big but, something went wrong. Our world doesn't work as it's meant to. And we've experienced something of that this year, haven't we? Many of us have had a very difficult year because of coronavirus. But because Jesus made his world, he came to fix it. Jesus is in the business of fixing his world. And he came to fix our world being born in Bethlehem and then years later dying on a cross. Now it might seem like kind of a sad thing to think about Jesus dying on the cross, especially when we're celebrating his birth. But his death is one of the most important things about Jesus. Thinking about Jesus without thinking about the cross and the resurrection is a bit like a Christmas dinner without having a turkey or a cracker without a bang. It would be missing something very important. And that's why we have the ribbon around the Christingle, the red ribbon that goes round to remember that Jesus died to fix our broken world. But Jesus didn't stay dead. He came back to life three days later. It's what we call the resurrection. As our reading said, the darkness can't beat Jesus. Jesus shines through the darkness and darkness can't put him out. But the thing is, to enjoy the light, what do you think you have to do? You have to turn it on and you have to let it shine. Jesus shines in our world, but he doesn't always shine in my heart and in your heart. We need to ask him. We need to ask him in, like lighting a candle or snapping a glow stick. These are starting to get going now. Jesus shines in you and me when we ask him. So have you and those around you asked Jesus to come and shine in your lives this Christmas? All you have to do is ask him, say, Jesus, I want you in my life. But the light that Jesus gives us is not just for us. It's meant to light up our neighbourhood as well. The light is meant to shine in the dark places of the world. And that is why, as part of our Christingle, we'd love you to give generously to the work of the Children's Society. The Children's Society do some wonderful work helping homeless and vulnerable children, people who this Christmas may not have as good a Christmas as perhaps we're looking forward to. And our generosity can literally light up their lives so please, if you can, do give generously to this amazing work. So this Christmas, let the light of Jesus shine in you and your family and help to light up the darkness in our world. I'm going to say a short prayer. Shall we pray? Lord Jesus, light of the world, as we hold our Christingles and think about your great love for us, Help us to take this light out into the world and to share your love with others, especially those who need it most. Amen. Thanks, Ben. So great to remember that Jesus is the light of the world. That at Christmas he came to fix our world so that we could enjoy shining with his light. If you want to donate to the work of the Children's Society that Ben mentioned, There'll be a link in the video description. You can click that and that'll take you to the donation page. And if something that Ben has said or something else that you've heard 
uh, in the service about what it means to have the light of Jesus in your life. Maybe that's raised questions for you, then we'd love to talk more and love to help you to explore what it means to have the light of Jesus in your life. You could email myself or Ben, or you could just join us at any of our other Christmas services that are happening later this coming week. There's a flyer about that in the Christingle packs. Or just come along any Sunday. Most Sundays at the moment we're meeting at 10.30. That can be in person and online. And if you join us online, there's a group for children via Zoom. So you can join them with some special activities. Lots of fun uh, to do that. And a great way of finding out more about what it means to have the light of Jesus in your life. So I think there's only one more thing that we need to do, and that is light our Christingles. So grab your grown-up, find something that you can light them with, a match, something like that, and then as we light our Christingles, we're going to sing our final song, which is all about how Jesus came into the world to shine his light.
Well, thank you so much for joining us. It's been great to be with you at our online Chris Stingle. I hope we'll be able to see you at a service again very soon, whether in person or online. And another huge thank you to St Swithin School for all the hard work they put into helping us with this service. Both the children and the staff have worked really hard, so thank you so much. And a really happy Christmas to all of you. Why don't I close with a final prayer? Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Those who follow me will never walk in darkness, but have the light of life. Lord Jesus, this Christmas, help us to walk in your light and to know your life. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be amongst us and remain with us this day and always. Amen.